President of the Republic of Tanzania, Dr. Philip Mpango. Excellencies, heads of state and government, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, greetings from Her Excellency Dr. Samia Sulu Hassan, the President of the United Republic of Tanzania and the people of my country. I wish to commend the government of the Republic of Kenya for organizing this important event which addresses pertinent climate changes facing our African nations and the world. Ladies and gentlemen, Tanzania, just like any other African country, is also affected by climate change and variabilities with extreme events such as droughts and floods causing major economic costs, reducing long-term growth, and disrupting livelihoods of both rural and urban communities. Climate change impacts continue to affect agricultural production, water resources, marine and coastal zones, public health, energy supply and demand, infrastructure, biodiversity and ecosystems. It is apparent that the current climate crisis is curtailing our efforts to achieve accelerated economic growth, sustainable development and poverty reduction targets. Ladies and gentlemen, in addressing the challenges associated with climate change, the government of Tanzania has taken several measures, including the following. One, about 361,594 square kilometers, which is equivalent to nearly 40% of the total land area, and 7,330 square kilometers of the ocean have been reserved as protected areas covering forests, marine areas, scientific reserves, and so on. Second, Tanzania has also been implementing an extensive tree planting program where each district has a target to plant 1.5 million trees annually. For instance, in 2021-2022, a total of 197.8 million trees were planted countrywide. Third, we have scaled up investment in renewable energy, including solar power plants, windmills, charcoal made from waste, and many others. We are also working on harnessing geothermal energy, targeting to generate about 200 megawatts by 2025. Fourth, the government has also established the National Carbon Monitoring Center with the objective of assisting in assessment of carbon sources and sinks. Five, we have put in place a structure for implementing the country's climate action commitments, i.e. the nationally determined contribution. Six, and in addition, in June of 2022, the government of Tanzania launched the National Environmental Master Plan for Strategic Interventions 2022 to 2032 based on spatial variation and taking on board other strategies such as the National Climate Change Response Strategy of 2021 to 2026. And finally, we have also launched a vigorous campaign to reduce use of charcoal for cooking. And this encompasses raising public awareness, scaling up supply of liquefied petroleum gas for cooking installation of biogas, and promoting cooking stoves that use renewable energy sources. Ladies and gentlemen, Tanzania applauds all regional and global efforts put in place to address the challenges we face in addressing climate change. However, more needs to be done. We believe science, innovation, and partnerships are key in finding solutions to these challenges. To conclude, I wish to thank all partners who have been working with Tanzania and also invite those with advanced technologies, know-how and financial capabilities to partner with us, especially on technology transfer, capacity building and research in order to develop sustainable and appropriate means to deal with the challenges at hand. Let us join forces and invest in innovative technologies to fight and combat climate change and associated challenges towards a better future. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much uh, for that message. So now, ladies and gentlemen, please a round of applause.
to the Vice President of the Republic of Tanzania, Dr. Philip Mpango. Now we have another video message from